Did you know that the Yangtze River is the world's longest river that only flows through one country? China is home to two of the longest rivers in the world, the Yangtze and the Yellow. One of the largest species of freshwater fish, the Chinese paddlefish, could once be found in the basins of both of these rivers. I'm Donald, and this is my assistant, Bear. In this edition of Gone from Earth, we will set out for China to explore the story of this fish and its extinction. The Chinese paddlefish usually grew to a length of about 10 feet, though it could reach up to 23 feet. Like sharks and rays, it had a skeleton made up mostly of cartilage, which is what our own ears and noses are made of. Like salmon, the Chinese paddlefish was anadromous. This means that it was born in fresh water, spent most of its adult life in coastal sea waters, and finally migrated back upriver to lay its eggs. Mature adults swam near the coast in the Yellow Sea and the East China Sea. Their main food sources were smaller fish such as anchovies and flounders, as well as shrimp and crabs. The paddlefish was a strong swimmer that mostly occupied the water column's lower mid-level. Their lifestyle was mostly solitary, except for when large numbers congregated during the mating season, which lasted from mid-March through early April. Their populations began to decline between the 13th and 15th centuries, and these fish were last reported in the Yellow River in the 1960s. Throughout history, they were harvested very heavily. Populations had declined so much that the Chinese government made it illegal to harvest the fish in 1983. The species was difficult to keep in captivity, and therefore no captive breeding attempts were successful. Paddlefish numbers dropped so low that scientists estimate the species became functionally extinct in 1993. This means that there were too few of them left to maintain genetic diversity for further breeding generations. To complicate matters, several dams were built along the Yangtze River. This blocked the fish's migration route. The Chinese paddlefish is believed to have become extinct by 2005, but it was not formally declared extinct until 2022. That concludes this edition of Gone from Earth. Join me and Bear next time to learn about a bird that once called North America home, the passenger pigeon. Be sure to subscribe for more Wildlife Chronicles. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you on our next adventure.